top 10 most successful African footballers of all time. Welcome to this floor and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall take you into the world of football and we shall be shining the light on the top 10 most successful African footballers of all time. Football was first introduced to Africa in the early 1860s by Europeans due to the colonization of Africa. The first recorded games were played on the continent in 1862 between soldiers and civil servants and there were no established rules for the game at this time. Historian Peter Allegri said that it spread very quickly through the mission schools, through the military forces and through the railways. Teams were being established in South Africa before 1900, in Egypt and in Algeria during a similar time period. Savages FC of South Africa and Gezira SC are the oldest African football clubs that remain in existence. Both began to play in 1882 followed by Alexandra SC in 1890 and CDJ Oran from Algeria in 1894. By the 1930s, football was being played in Central Africa and had become one of the most popular sports in Africa. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. Despite most of the concentration labeled on the big European names, one cannot deny the fact that there currently is and have always been an array of talents from African soil to have played the beautiful game of football. Truly, we've witnessed a huge number of outstanding players in the game, especially from Africa also produced some really mouth-watering sensations. If we should start calling names of legendary footballers, this video might be the longest video ever. However, among the thousands of footballers we may call, there are Africans who have won our hearts as footballers. In this video, we will discuss the top 10 most successful African footballers of all time. Number 10. Raba Majer, Algeria One of the most prolific Algerian and African internationals, a in number of games and goals played in two World Cups with his national team, helping it to its first ever participation in 1982 is Raba Majer. Raba Mustafa Majer is an Algerian former footballer who played as a striker. He reached stardom as a Porto player during the 1980s, being widely regarded as one of the best Algerian football players of all time. With that club, he won nine major titles during his six-year spell, including three national championships and the 1987 European Cup. Widely regarded as the best Algerian footballer ever and was named the outright best of the last century. He is a legend for Portuguese outfit FC Porto as his goal was crucial in the 1987 European Cup final which he helped his side win. This was after he helped Algeria reach their first ever World Cup finals in 1982. Majer won 9 major titles with Porto and scored more than 150 goals. Having taken up coaching immediately after retiring, he still stands as one of Africa's most successful African footballers of all time. Number 9. Seydou Keita, Mali Seydou Keita is a former Malian footballer Known for his versatility as a midfielder, he operated as both a central or defensive midfielder. He most notably played for Lens in Barcelona, winning 14 titles with the latter club after signing in 2008. He started his youth career in Mali and his professional career with Marseille. His career would take him to clubs in France, Spain, China, Italy and Qatar. Keita represented Mali since the age of 18, appearing in seven African Cup of Nations tournaments and winning 102 caps. His achievement at club level is unmatched by any African midfielder ever, making Keita an all-time great, definitely. Keita consistently held on to a first-team spot in Pep Guardiola's Barca, regarded as the best football team of all time. Keita won three La Liga titles, two Copa del Reyes, three Supercopa de Espanas, and two Champions League two UEFA Super Cups, and two Club World Cup titles during his time in Barcelona. He also won titles at the Lorient and Sevilla and netted 78 goals from midfield. Number 8. Yaya Toure, Ivory Coast Yaya Toure is an Ivorian professional football player who plays as midfielder for Chinese Super League club King Dao Hungai. Toure began his playing career at Ivorian club Asek Mimosas where he made his debut at the age of 18. His performances attracted attention from Europe. He had stints with Beveren, Metalla Donetsk, Olympiacos, and Monaco before moving to Barcelona in 2007. He played over 100 matches for the club 
and was part of historic 2009 Barcelona side that won six trophies in the calendar year. Touré was voted African Footballer of the Year for 2011, 2012, 2013 and 2014 and earned 100 caps for Ivy Coast from 2004 to 2015, representing the nation at the 2006, 2010 and 2014 FIFA World Cup tournaments. He also represented them in six Africa Cup of Nations in 2006, 8, 10, 12, 13 and 15, helping them finish runner-up in 2006 and 2012, while captaining them in victory in 2015. Probably the best African midfielder of the history, Toure is one of Africa's most successful footballers of all time. Number 7. Issam El Hadari, Egypt Issam Kamal Taufik El Hadari is a retired Egyptian footballer who played as a goalkeeper. Nicknamed the High Dam, he has spent the largest portion of his club career in Al Ali, with whom he won eight Egyptian Premier League titles, four Egypt Cups, four Egyptian Super Cups, four CAF Champions League titles, three CAF Super Cups, one Arab Club Champions Cup, and two Arab Super Cups. El Hadari has made over 150 international appearances for his nation since his debut in 1996. He has won the African Cup of Nations four times and was named the tournament's best goalkeeper on three occasions. At the 2018 FIFA World Cup and at the age of 45 years and 161 days, he became the oldest player in history to play in a World Cup match. He is definitely the greatest goalkeeper Africa produced as he played 22 years for the Egypt national team, earning him the title of a national hero. Number 6. JJ Okocha, Nigeria Augustin Azuka JJ Okocha is a Nigerian former professional footballer who played as an attacking midfielder. In 1990, he joined Enugu Rangers where he produced many spectacular displays, including one where he rounded off and scored a goal against experienced Nigerian goalkeeper Willie Okpara in a match against BCC Lions. Later that year, he went on holiday to West Germany, accompanied his friend to training who played for a third division for Borussia Nankirchen and he was asked to join in. The Nankirchen coach was impressed with the coach's skills and he signed the contract. Okocha made his official debut for Nigeria in 1994 FIFA World Cup qualifier and by the second cup he became a favorite with the Nigerian supporters. In March 2004, he was named one of the top 125 living footballers by Pelé. He won the African Cup of Nations and Olympic gold with his nation and had numerous individual awards including two BBC African Player of the Year awards. Number 5. Nwankwo Kanu, Nigeria Nwanku Kano Oon is a Nigerian former professional footballer who played as a forward. He was a member of the Nigerian national team and played for Nigerian team Iwanao National, Dutch side Ajax, Inter Milan of Italy, and English clubs Arsenal, West Bromwich Albion, and Portsmouth. Kano won a UEFA Champions League medal, a UEFA Cup medal, three FA Cup medals, and two African Player of the Year awards, amongst others. He is one of a few players who have won the Premier League, FA Club, Champions League, UEFA Club and an Olympic gold medal. He made the third most substitute appearances in Premier League history, appearing from the bench 118 times and is regarded as one of the best players in African football history. He is also a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and an African brand ambassador for digital TV operator Star Times. He also won the Holland Eredivisie at Ajax thrice and was named African Player of the Year twice. He's the greatest Nigerian player of all time and a legend for Arsenal and Ajax as well as Portsmouth. Number 4. Roger Mila Cameroon Albert Roger Mila, known as Roger Mila, is a Cameroonian former professional footballer who played as a forward. He was one of the first African players to be major stars on the international stage. He played in three World Cups for the Cameroon national team. He achieved international stardom at 38 years old an age at which most forwards have retired by scoring four goals at the 1990 FIFA World Cup and thus becoming the oldest goal scorer in World Cup history. He helped Cameroon become the first African team to reach the World Cup quarterfinals. Four years later, at the age of 42, Miller broke his own record as the oldest goal scorer in the World Cup by scoring against Russia in the 1994 FIFA World Cup. Miller is also remembered for his trademark goal celebration of running to the corner flag and performing a dance. 
In the years that followed, he has been recognized as a pioneer of the many unconventional and imaginative ghost celebrations since then. In 2004, he was named by Pelé in the FIFA 100 list of world's greatest living players. In 2007, the Confederation of African Football named Miller the best African player of the previous 50 years. Roger Miller netted 438 goals in 794 matches in his professional career. He won the African Player of the Year award twice and also won the Nations Cup twice for Cameroon. He made World Cup All-Star team and was third highest goal scorer in 1990. Number 3. Didier Drogba, Ivory Coast Didier Yves Drogba Tabeli is an Ivorian retired professional footballer who played as a striker as captain of the Ivory Coast national team and notably Chelsea for whom he is currently the club's fourth highest goal scorer of all time. After playing in youth teams, Drogba made his professional debut aged 18 for Ligue 2 club Le Mans and signed his first professional contract aged 21. In July 2004, Drogba moved to Premier League club Chelsea for a club record of 24 million euro fee, making him the most expensive Ivorian player in history. In his debut season, he helped the club win their first league title in 50 years, and a year later, he won another Premier League title. His display saw him named in the FIFA World 11 for 2007. In March 2012, he became the first African player to score 100 Premier League goals. Just two months later, he scored Chelsea's 2012 FA Cup final win over Liverpool to become the first and as of 2017 the only player to score in four separate FA Cup finals. With a career record of scoring 10 goals in 10 finals winning 10 trophies at the club level, Jogba has been referred to as the ultimate big game player. Number 2. George Weir, Liberia George Mena Opong Weir is a Liberian politician and former professional footballer Currently serving as the 25th president of Liberia in office since 2018. Prior to his election to presidency, Weir served as senator from Montserrat County and before he played as a striker. His prolific 18-year professional playing career ended in 2003. He is the first former professional footballer to become head of state. After beginning his career in the home country of Liberia, Weir spent 14 years playing for clubs in France, Italy and England. Our Saint Wenger first brought him to Europe, signing him for Monaco in 1988. Weir moved to Paris Saint-Germain in 1992, where he won Ligue 1 in 1994 and became the top scorer of the 1994-95 UEFA Champions League. 4-4-2 named Weir one of the best players never to win the UEFA Champions League. At the international level, Weir represented Liberia at the African Cup of Nations on two occasions winning 53 caps and scoring 13 goals for his country. In 2004, he was named by Pelé in the FIFA 100 list of the world's greatest living players. This guy is the only African footballer to win the Ballon d'Or and the FIFA World Cup Player of the Year after scoring both in 1995. He also backed African Player of the Year on three occasions. He's a huge national hero and is now the president of his nation, Liberia. And here comes number one. Samuel Eto'o Cameroon The name Samuel Eto'o Fis is recognized worldwide by both football fans and non-football fans alike. He is a Cameroonian retired professional footballer who played as a striker. His impressive form saw him join Barcelona in 2004 where he scored 130 goals in 5 seasons and also became the record holder for the most number of appearances by an African player in La Liga. He is the second player in history to score in two UEFA Champions League finals. In 2010, he signed with Inter Milan where he became the first player to win two European continental trebles following his back-to-back -back achievements with Barcelona and Inter. He is the fourth player in Champions League history after Marcel De Sali, Paolo Souza and Gerard Piquet to have won the trophy two years in a row with different teams. In 2015, he received the Golden Foot Award. As a member of the Cameroonian national team, he won several accolades before retiring in 2014. His legacy cannot be summarized in the book because they are record-breaking, making him the most successful African footballer of all times. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 most successful African footballers of all time. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave a suggestion in the comment section and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy the video, 
Do all to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.